Janesville police are continuing to investigate what led to an eight hour standoff in that city very early this morning. For more, we go live now to Janesville where News 3 Now's Maddie Heim spoke with neighbors in that area. Maddie. Eric, we are just now learning that the suspect was found dead in the home behind me today. Law enforcement did not fire any shots. The Janesville police chief says they'll be releasing more information on the incident and the suspect tomorrow. Like you said, I've been speaking with neighbors all day about what they know, saw and heard. A lot of SWAT team, a lot of police presence, ambulance, firefighters, and eventually it led into a standoff. <laughs> A neighbor who heard the sirens around 1 a.m. says this isn't the first time squad cars have surrounded the home on the corner of West Washington and West Court Street. So I just figured that they're probably after him for something because they've been there over the past few years a number of times. You know, going in with search warrants. Chris McLean lives just a few houses away. He says he heard officers yelling through a megaphone ordering the suspect to exit the house with his hands up. And then all of a sudden, I hear a pow, 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 pow. The Janesville Police Department says the suspect fired shots from the home, but no officers were injured. The original call came into the Janesville Police Department for a domestic violence incident. It was three hours later at 4 a.m. when the SWAT team was called. Every time I walked by him when he was outside, you know, he'd always say hi. He seemed like a really nice guy. I know sometimes he has a tendency of, you know, just like getting mad. According to online records, the suspect has a lengthy criminal history, including previous charges like battery, disorderly conduct, and bail jumping. We'll have more tomorrow when the Janesville Police Department releases more information on News 3 Now and on Channel3000.com. For now, reporting live in Janesville, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now.